for us as petroleum engineers, it's all about affordable energy and power generation and lighting the world and, and efficient transportation systems. But if you think about clean air, clean water, um, all the tech issues, an efficient electrical grid, uh, food science, food distribution, uh, those are all ultimately engineering problems. And all the big issues of our world are ultimately solved by engineers. From a financial standpoint, I often tell people that it's probably the best payoff for a four-year college degree of any career anyone could pick. As far as what they make as a salary, their possibilities of rising up in a company. Um, most uh, engineers, a bachelor's degree, a four-year degree is all that you need to, to really advance in the, in the career. You don't need a doctor degree, you don't need advanced degrees, you don't need a PhD. A bachelor's degree is enough to really set you on that course. And you look at some of the engineers who've been CEOs or high executives in a lot of companies, a lot of them only had a bachelor's degree. So it's a really uh, great way to start off on a lucrative and wide open career path. A lot of the women of my age uh, who, who studied engineering in the 1970s, kind of that very first wave of uh, women in engineering, almost all of them that I've met, their father or an older brother were an engineer. So they had someone in their family that encouraged them to, to not only study a STEM field, but to stay in a STEM field. And I think that's really what made a difference for us, uh, is that we had a, a connection, we knew what an engineer did, and we had somebody who actually encouraged us to stay in a STEM field. All the well-paying, really professional, high growth areas of our economy are almost all STEM jobs. And so by lim limiting yourself, uh, by not studying uh, mathematics all through high school and then uh, sticking with chemistry and all that, you've really narrowed your opportunities. And I see too many uh, younger women that narrow their opportunities too early. And all the really great jobs in our economy are STEM jobs. So if they really want to be able to support themselves, support a family on their own, have a career with a lot of growth and potential, being able to travel the world, they solve you know world's problems, those are all STEM STEM fields and you know I have a law degree too but lawyers don't solve the world's problems you know engineers do